So, where was I? Interrupted by a phone call. Uh, yes, uh, just saying about the Platform Tavern, yes, Stuart. Yeah, the guy playing with the um, PA. Yeah, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, but the band were rocking. We had guest um, artists uh, playing and, and singing. It was it was brilliant. We had Stan Cockrum on guitar, showed the youngsters how to play a bit of guitar. We had Phil Applin. The guy, you know, like, I don't know what it is about the man, but he's very uh, cultured with it and just stands there. With, and he's in a new band with Geraldine Hume, the blues lady. I got to see them yet. And um, the Reverend Richard Stickler. He wasn't there Saturday night. And I went to delve in to find out why he wasn't there. Pope, Chris Pope wasn't there. Young Jason Havelock there. Stood in manfully for him. Brilliant, brilliant number. Uh, but, you know, the, that feeling, because the... the they are a, uh, a band who react to the crowd rather than so much getting the crowd going. Miff, that's your fault. It's your job. You're the front man. Get the crowd going. If you don't like the crowd, don't turn your back on them. Get them going, mate. That's my tip to you. I love you, and I know you can take that one right in the nads, all right? But the crowd were there, and it was brilliant. There were so many good faces. You know, old faces turned up to see him. I think, you know, they, they might have come out of sympathy. I don't know. But it always, always makes it... A you know, the Wags were there, you know, and Ina with the Ukrainian crew. Top babes, I tell you, top babes. You know, just you've got to come along just for that. Uh, but yeah, they were on top of their game. Who else played with them? Sam Le Pen from Junk, yeah, Junko Shakers were there. Mitchell, everyone apart from Papa Gun was there. Obviously, Mitch Ratcliffe didn't get up and do a guest spot. It was enough, it wasn't enough room to get people up there, let alone a bloody great double bass, but he seemed to be enjoying himself. Ben Dong got up and played some brilliant blues harmonica. Fair play to you, my boy. Um, who else? I was uh, bloody um, Pelican Crossing now. And it was yummy mummies. We're in Botley. Yummy old. Oh, she's not so yummy, that one there. But hello, darling. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Sam the Pen, Ben Gunn, yeah, yeah, blues, blues uh, harmonica. The boy's a bit of a virtuoso, you know, showing a different side to Junko. And Junko Shakers the night before, and I didn't get along to see you boys because I went on the lash and I, I, I had tickets to come and see you. Supporting Chaz and Dave, this is a Samantha band, support Chaz and Dave. Now, to a lot of you, oh, it's Chaz and Dave. Chaz and Dave, huge, massive, massive band. Back in the 70s, uh, but they've continuously toured. I know they had a bit of a problem, one of our cats, I think. But reformed, but I missed the night. But apparently, it was fantastic. Good luck to you, boys. Good contacts, good props to you. You're gonna go places. I'm glad to say that I was there in the beginning, along with you, Dirty Diesel Outlaw Orchestra. But getting back to Backwater Bowl Blues Band, I wasn't even gonna go out. I had a bit of the old. <laughs> What the fucking hell does that mean? I had the shits, all right? And I'd had them all day long, and I don't know why, I think I had Nova virus, because I was with three lads the day before, and they all said they had Nova virus. Well, whether that's true or not, I don't know. So I, I went out, and I really had a thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying poor evening. It was, you know, just, uh, who else played with him? You had Miff's friend, I, I can't, sorry, I can't remember your name if you're watching it. He gets some play harmonica. Completely different style than Miff. He's, um, very laid back with it, but just puts a little bit of an influence on it. But then you come to, uh, you know, like Dino. Dino's there, he's loving it. He's got his uh, cordless uh, guitar, wireless, whatever, so he can roam around. Not if there's a lot of <laughs> room to roam around in the platform at all, but he's got a new lease of life with that. You know, and uh, I was talking to Graham Hutton, who's there, and he does all the photography. G99, go online and have a little look. Very, very uh, nice guy. Nice guy, great pictures. Yeah, and he made the remark about um, Louis coming on leaps and bounds now, and it is, it's noticeable. The guy's there, he's a bit of a heartthrob, actually. Gets out there, and you know, once he, once he starts really, really letting go, he's gonna have bras and panties thrown up at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I regularly throw my bra at him, as you can see, look. Hey, look, it's all tightening up, I'll tell you, I tell you. Next year, when you see all those festivals, it's going to be shirt off, giving it some of that, I'll have the whistle and everything. You know, it'll probably be the old dry skulls playing, but I'm still... <laughs> I digress, I digress. Yes! Who else was there? Oh, Melvin Lockyer from um, Chicago 9. The night before, they supported Dr. Feelgood. Now, they're a band worth watching. Backwater Roll Blues Band... Um, supported them uh, last year um, 
Uh, Wilco Johnson played. Now there's a guitarist and a half. Oh, blew my mind. But you know, good entertainment. Very, very good. So, what have we got coming up? <coughs> this Friday, I'm off to a soul and Motown night. One of my favourite. It's not a festival, but it's old school. This boy here grew up in the 60s, the 70s. 70s was my teenage years and I was going out top rank, the pier. This is the music from all that time there. So yeah, it's gonna be lots of old faces. And when I say old faces, I don't just mean faces from my past. These faces are old nowadays, they really are. But it's so good to see them. Um, so I'm doing that Saturday night. Do you know what? So much for my upcoming gigs. I'm going to sit down later on today in the office, in office time. Yeah, I'm a bit of a bugger like that. Ding! And I'm going to do a gig list coming up. I keep telling you I'm going to do it, and I will. I will. In life, ladies and gentlemen, I am a big letdown. I've got all that. I've got all that. I talk the talk. Do I walk the walk? Sometimes. Anyway, it's been lovely chatting to you again. I will get back to you again soon. Have a wonderful weekend if I don't see you. Peace out. Can you feel the love? Look, it's still there, swollen. It's blue this morning. I've got to go and see a hand um, therapist. And guess what his name is? The hand therapist, Dr. Hand. Yeah, can you imagine if he was a proctologist? <laughs> I'm Dr. Arsehole. <laughs> can you feel the love?